My name is Brooke Singer. I'm the creator of Superfund 365. Superfund 365 is an online data visualization project that every day uh, visualizes a different Superfund site. So we are currently at the Quanta Resources Superfund site, which is day one in Superfund 365. And it is uh, in Bergen County, New Jersey. We're just across the Hudson from Manhattan. It's just a kind of a barren uh, lot of land. There are no signs, there's no kind of warning. This is a toxic hazardous waste site. Um, and that's been true for most of the Superfund sites I've visited. It was for about 40 years a um, oil recycling and storage facility. And that meant basically that there were something like 61 um, huge uh, barrels of um, that contained about 9 million gallons of coal tar waste, oil, um, sludge. So this is the page on Superfund 365 that visualizes the Quanta Resources Superfund site. And you can see that um, from these colorful spokes here, as you roll over them, they will indicate what kind of contaminants are on the site. The gray uh, shapes are representations of the responsible parties. And these are businesses or sometimes individuals, sometimes the military, that are responsible to actually create the Superfund site in the first place and are being held responsible to pay for and clean up the site. Well, I think Superfund, it grew out of Love Canal, is also a birth defect child. <laughs> it hasn't worked the way everybody anticipated it was going to work. It's typical for cleanup at a Superfund site to take about 10 to 15 years. And even after cleanup is complete, many times uh, the EPA has to come back um, and follow up. A big part of Superfund 365 is getting people who live near the Superfund sites to contribute information, whether that information is photographs that they take and upload or stories that you can upload through the discussion forum. The nice part about people contributing to the site is that the information that we're visualizing for the most part comes from the EPA, comes from the federal agency. And in many cases, this data can be old, outdated, um, sometimes even incorrect. So this is a way for local community knowledge to contribute, maybe contradict that which um, the federal agency uh, has, has determined.